Hi there, and welcome back to another series of Heart to Heart. And if this is your first time, welcome, glad to have you. So today we're gonna ask the question, are you the CEO? All right, we're gonna get to that in a minute. I know, I know, I know. So my name is Deetra Dennis and I am the founder of Full Circle Health Coaching LLC. And I am the heart health coach with a passion to empower black women to live at their optimal heart health through lifestyle interventions that are evidence-based and culturally relevant. So um, a little bit about Heart to Heart, it is an opportunity for us to have girl talk over a glass of red wine. And our red wine over here is hibiscus tea because hibiscus has many benefits, but one of the uh, benefits is for heart health and that it relaxes the blood vessels and ultimately lowers the blood pressure. So that is what Heart to Heart series is over here, is having a um, talk from the heart about the heart. Right. And so um, if you would go ahead and and subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you are alerted when I upload uh, or post a video. And, you know, when you find something good, you like to tell your girlfriend, girl, you know, you need to try this. So go ahead and share with a sister who you feel could benefit from the information that is discussed over here. And then, you know, again, this is girl talk. So I would love for you to comment below so that even though, yes, this is not live, it's a replay, we can still have dialogue in the comment section. So down below under the video, type in your comments on what resonates with you um, that is shared um, on today. So now go ahead and pour your red wine. And I have, um, you know, I have two kinds that I, I like, which is, um, this one has cinnamon in it and it, it's really good. But anyway, anyway, go ahead and pour your wine and cheers to you and let's chat it up. So now back to, are you the CEO? I know you're saying like, girl, what in the world does that have to do with heart health? I'm glad you asked and everything. Yes, everything. So if you see me looking down, I'm down. I'm looking at my notes because listen, I value your time and I appreciate you for, you know, being on the channel and watching me. So I like to provide you with valuable information that you could use in your day-to-day -day life as you are living uh, on your journey to optimal heart health. Okay. So um, when you think of CEO in a company, you know, you think that is the highest ranking executive in a company, and it is. And so if you didn't know, the answer to the question is, yes, you are the CEO and you are the CEO of your heart health. So if you didn't know it, you just got a promotion if you didn't know that you were already that. So, you know, I wish I had some confetti to, you know, congratulate you on your promotion. So, Congratulations to you on being the CEO of your heart health. Now, when you think of a successful CEO, there are some characteristics that stand out and we're going to highlight three on today. And then under the three, I do have a few sub notes um, for you to take along with you along your journey. All right. So again, and I'm not sure if you've heard of the book, The CEO of Your Health. I think it's by Maria. Maria Teresa, I can't remember her last name now, but that is a book that really does. It talks about being the CEO of your health. So now on to our three. The first one, it is a good CEO surrounds themselves with a successful team. And three, it could be more on the team, but the three that come to mind to me is an executive team. Your executive team is one that um, develops strategies to propel the vision forward. And we're talking about when we relate this to your health, is your health vision forward. And the executive team is your healthcare provider or providers, you know, your primary care provider or your cardiovascular um. I'm sorry, cardiologist or uh, OBGYN, any of your healthcare providers, they are your executive team. The second are consultants. Many times organizations, you know, hire a consultant, an outsider to help for a specific period or for a specific purpose. When you think about health, that is like your dietitian, a personal trainer, or a health coach. 
did I just hear you say you, you, you want me as your health coach? <laughs> I'm so flattered. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for hiring me. And you know what? I accept. Um, and then the third part to the uh, team would be your um, personnel. And so um, supporting personnel, that is. And so that is like your family, your friends, or a circle of like-minded um, uh, people, your network. So that is the first. First thing, having um, surround yourself with a successful team. Second, a good CEO has a plan on how to run the business during successes and setbacks. Okay, because listen, life happens and there you may have slips that come, but it's not for you to stop. You're to learn from those slips, grow from the slips, and then move forward, right? So the same thing is what you're to do. That is how you would be the CEO of your heart health. Learn from if, if a slip happened. And you know what? In life, slips happen get back on track. And so under that, I have two things. Number one, have systems or steps in place to live at your optimal health. So this is how you would have those plans there. Knowing your risk. Do you know your heart health risk? These are some of the things that I talk about we'll talk about in my upcoming Essentials of Heart Health workshop, because again, it's important for you to have the tools necessary for you to live at your optimal heart health. Making heart healthy lifestyle choices, um, knowing what they are and how can you implement them into your daily life. Um, actively, this is a major one here, actively engage with your executive team to build your strategic health plan. Don't just sit on the sidelines and allow the um, healthcare provider to tell you, you want to be an active participant in your health plan or in your health vision. Really be engaged. So those are two things, I'm sorry, one under there, and then design a contingency plan. And a contingency plan is a course of action to respond to an event that may or may not happen. Again, that's sort of like the slip. If you plan, if a slip may or may not happen, what will you do? So an example, if you have, you know, something that comes up, you normally have a routine of working out every day, um, starting your day out, with working out 45 minutes a day, but things happen and you, you know it's a non-negotiable, you are going to get in those 45 minutes. You may not be able to get them in that morning, but how about having 15 minutes throughout the day to get your 45 minutes in? That's a contingency plan. I, I use that example because that's been me this week um, because I have events coming up, um, speaking engagements and all of that. So because there were some meetings that took place at a, you know, throughout the day, I had to say, okay, you know what? Okay, I, I can get my 45 minutes in, but not at one time. I just have to um, have them throughout the day. So that's your contingency plan. All right. So number one was having a successful team. Then you have a plan of how to run the business during successes and setbacks. Lastly, a good CEO is optimistic and operates from hope and find ways to get it done. You don't just give up. And knowing when we relate this to health, when we're talking about making lifestyle changes to live at your optimal heart health, it is a marathon, not a sprint. OK, we want this to be a lifestyle, not a quick fix. So you don't just give up. You, you get it done. You get it done because you already had that contingency plan and you had a plan in place, period. OK, so that's one. And then, you know, I love to have quotes. And, and one of the quotes that I share is going to be from the one we had from last week, um, part two of Stress in a Woman's Heart, uh, Stress in a Woman's Heart. So. The other part here is that a good CEO sees things differently. You know, we have to have a different perspective. And so turn things around. This is the quote. Turn things around sometimes and look at life from a different perspective. And the quote from last week is, if you change the way you look at things, the things you look at change. Again, it's about perspective. Right. So those are the three things. Just to recap, number one, a good CEO, CEO surrounds themselves with a successful team. 
Um, they have a plan on how to run the business um, during successes and setbacks. And then lastly, a CEO is optimistic. So, you know, again, as I mentioned before, I do have the Essentials of Heart Health um, workshop coming up. And I will be sharing the announcement of when the registration opens, but it will again help you have the tools you need so that you can operate successfully as the CEO of your heart health. It is so important to have these tools to help you. As you know, over the past weeks, I've shared with you the uh, disparities as it relates to Black women and the heart health care. You know, still there's racism and things of that nature. And, you know, many uh, uh, were disproportionately impacted by heart disease. Listen, we can change that narrative because, you know, you've been promoted to CEO. So you have that responsibility on your shoulder now to be a successful CEO of your heart health. Now, I have enjoyed our time together today, and I hope that you have. And I want to see it in the comments below. If you want to get social with me, connect with me on Facebook at Full Circle Health Coaching LLC. I'm sorry, LLC. And if you would like to subscribe to my newsletter, go on over to fullcirclehealthcoachingllc.com. I have that information in the description below. And you know, I always like to leave you with this, a reminder that you are the full circle and within you is the power to create, nurture, and transform. So until next week, you know what to do. Tap into your power.